Hi everybody. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I fixed eyelids that are messed up. Let me just show you. I created this character from the Headshot plugin. I think he looks pretty good. I didn't choose beard and scalp because I don't like the way it does the scalp. So I'm just going to kind of leave it like that. It did the little beard okay there. But the problem is if you go to modify, open, close eyes, you get these like really dark lines here. So I'm gonna, this one isn't, I've seen characters that are a lot worse, but it's also pretty bad, kind of like right in there. And you can go to modify, correct eye blink, and it sometimes helps a little bit, but it doesn't help with this dark shadow here. So we're gonna try to fix it. So I'm gonna come over here to the skin gen editor, and yes, I'm gonna apply my changes there. So give this just a second and I'll get a drink. Uh, okay, so now I'm going to launch the head here. Just going to say save texture, go to my temp folder, and I'll just call this head. Okay, now I'm going to open up this file. This is paint.net, which is my graphics program of choice. Let me close some of the other ones I got open, so I don't, I'll leave that there. Doesn't hurt to have it. Okay. So first, I'm going to show you the clone stamp tool. If you're not familiar with it, it's my one of my favorite paint.net tools. But the clone stamp lets you, if you hit control and click, and then you draw, it'll try to like repaint whatever area you, the, the target, this will be the, the source right here, and then wherever you have the second little circle, we'll kind of start drawing. So let me... Just kind of smooth it in. And I'm going to show you another feature I really like called Blur, Surface Blur, if you're not familiar with it. It tends to help with, after I do some editing, you can kind of tell it's, you know, been edited sometimes. So I try to do the Surface Blur to make it a little less obvious that I was sitting here doing it. So let me just kind of get... And if you're a graphics artist, this video is probably not for you because you know how to do all this. But I'm just showing you how I do it after messing with this for a while. Okay, let me get me a smaller font so I can do the corner. And I just kind of, I constantly like kind of re-hit control. I don't have to, but... It's kind of, I found it's better to re-hit the control key a lot to, instead of redrawing the same thing over and over, it just kind of blends a little better. Okay, so that's good enough for prime time. We're going to blend it a little bit at the end. Okay. And maybe, I might have to go a little further right here. I got to see how the eye does when we get, let me kind of zoom in. Ah, it's too much, sorry. Control Z to back out of that. All right, let me just try to get rid of some of this dark over here. I don't want to mess up his eyelashes too much, but... Okay, that should be good enough for the first one. I might kind of try to fix a little of that back. All right. A little right there. Okay. And now I'm going to try this one, which this one looks a little, we didn't have as much, it's kind of different. So I'm going to just click over here and give us a little uh, source area to kind of paint. Let me get a bigger font back until we get a little closer. Okay, give that, this is a really big image, so sometimes my computer says, hey, I need to catch up here. So sorry this isn't the most exciting television to, or video to watch. Oops. Just trying to smooth some of this out. Oops, went too far. It's usually better to take little short little strokes so you can 
stop at any point. Okay, we've probably got enough over here. I can do the rest from here, so I don't have to go back all the way over there. And generally, I'm just going for better than it was, so I don't expect this to look perfect when I'm done, but hopefully it looks better at least. Because generally the blink is only for a second, but if it's real obvious, everyone will notice it. Right. And sometimes I don't even move the mouse, I just kind of do like, if you just click... Try to just blend that in a little. Doesn't hurt to have a little bit of that little, I don't know what you call that, that little line there, but it does look better when it's there. A little bit. Okay, so now we've got our little blur mostly in place. Trying to get rid of all the dark spots. Might even try to get rid of a little bit. Okay, let that catch up. Okay, so now there's even a little bit of dark I don't really like right here between his eyebrows. But we're going to mess, we'll mess with the eyebrows next if we need to. But first, I want to take the blur. This is the blur tool. And you're going to lose a little bit of detail by using the blur. So it's kind of a trade off. But to me, the, the the little bit of a trade-off is better than a, you know, it's not that bad by the time you get into Character Creator. Okay, we're going to do a surface blur. I had it cranked up earlier, and it remembers the last setting. I generally don't want to do very much. You just want to do a tiny bit just to try to kind of have some of the... It'll just kind of smudge out some of those little lines, and I'm going to do it just a few times, and it... Yeah, I, I you definitely lose detail. So I'm the first to admit you're gonna lose a little bit of detail doing this. But a smoothed out eyelid to me is better than. Now I may try to. I think I do need to. I'm gonna try to get rid of some of that because that's just a shadow from the the way the lighting was when the picture was taken. Really. So we're gonna do a little bit more here just to see if we can. This isn't really where it's messed up, but I wanted to get somewhere I could kind of draw from right in here. Might come over here a little. Uh, control Z because I messed up. And you're probably better at this than me. I just come in here and do this enough times till it and by the time you blur it out it doesn't look as bad as it does here all zoomed in And I just kind of constantly hit control shift. So by now I just kind of do it subconsciously. Okay. So it's going to be a little messed up in there. Let me get a little smaller font so I can fix what I just did. And I'm going to put some eyelashes on him so that'll kind of fix some of what we're doing here. But I just don't like those dark spots under the eyelid and then, oops, and then the corner over here. Okay, just to kind of smudge that in, and I'm going to blur it a little more, kind of right, just right in this area. So 
I just go here. Kind of don't like, right? A little bit. Okay, it seems to be not fixing it. I've seen times where, yeah, sometimes paint.net just stops working right. I don't know why. Maybe I've done too much to this image for it. Okay, let me save this and reopen it. It tends to fix it. Okay, let me reopen that. Maybe I can fix this little eye problem right here. There. That was just bugging me having that little. Alright. Okay, so that's one eye down. Trying to keep a little bit of that. I probably got rid of too much already. Okay. Alright. Sometimes less is more. Okay, so now we're going to try to fix this one the same way, and that'll be the end of the video. We'll go see what it looks like. So sorry, this, as I said, it's not the most exciting, probably. Give me a smaller font through here. But I think this is, it turns out better to me getting rid of some of this dark through here in the corner of their kind of eye and top of their nose. Even if you have to blur it out a little bit to make it not look so bad. Some of that to be a little darker than the eyelash, but not. Okay. Just kind of blend that in a little. one more time and just see what this looks like can do a lot but I just try to make it a little closer so it doesn't have to do too much okay I'm probably messing up our eyelashes here our eyelid a little bit but okay let me try to blur that a few times and my dog is snoring if you can hear him in the background but sorry about that I'm not gonna wake him up all right blur Okay, now I got that. I might try it just one more time, kind of right through here. All right, good enough for prime time. All right, let me blur that a few times and we'll go see what all this looks like. The 
And sometimes I crank it up a little bit if I need to to make it make something that's really mess, messed up a little. But by the time you do that a couple, I think it looks better at least than compared to having a, a really bad, uh, I don't know, dark spot or blotch or something on your... Okay. All right. I think I'm going to go back one there. Let me do just this area right here. Might try to... Okay. All right, let's go into Character Creator and just see what this looks like. So I don't expect miracles, but at least if it's better than it was, well, we, I'll call this Head 2. Okay. Okay, so you definitely lose a little bit of detail, but I think it looks a lot better. There might be a little bit there I could still do, but let me open the eyes back up and see what they look like. All right, I think that looks better. I don't know. What do you think? If you have your own method of doing it, uh, of fixing eyes, let me know. But I think that looks a lot better, at least if your character blinks while you're doing a video. No one will sit there and go, oh my god, look how bad the, the dark spot is. So... Okay, well thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions or video requests. I'm going to finish out this character and then walk my dog. Alright, have a great day.